Hi, welcome to Glitter Fox Studios. My name is Brett and today we're going to be talking about a few little practice tips. Um, so beginners, uh, intermediate and advanced, uh, I think this technique is a really, really cool way to uh, go about practicing and performing something. And as you'll notice, people and music never sounds like this. Because if it did, people would get very frustrated with it very, very quickly. Um, so you'll notice that there are dynamics. There are louds and softs. And there is also um, parts of music that is either slow or fast and it, the way that um, it is played influences how the person, the audience and the, uh, and the performer feels. Um, so this practice technique is very, very simple. So when I'm learning something new, I take a bite-sized chunk and I practice it slowly first, then I practice it softly, then I practice it loud, and then I practice it fast. And so the reason why I practice all four of these things is going to really develop your musicianship. So say I take the spider game for instance, very very simple exercise that you know a lot of people come across, and I play it slowly. And then I play it softly to work on my dynamics. And then I play it loudly, which is not loudly and fast, it's just loudly. And it's not cheese grater style, it's not this. Uh, there may be a, an application for cheese grater style playing guitar, um, depending on the style of music you're interested in. And then the last uh, is fast. And when I say fast, it's not fast for me because I've been playing for a long time, so I can play things quite quickly now. Uh, it's only as fast as you can, so uh, as fast as you can without making mistakes, if that makes sense. Make sense? So slowly, softly, loud, and fast. Thank you.